Queens, 1963, by Julia Alvarez. Everyone seemed more American than we newly arrived, far and dirt still on our souls. By year's end, a sprinkler waving like a flag on our mowed lawn, we were blended into the block. Owned our own mock Tudor house, then the house across the street sold to a black family. Cop cars patrolled our block, from the Castelluchis at one end to the Balakians on the other, we heard rumors of bomb threats, a burning cross on their lawn, turned out to be a sprinkler. Still the neighborhood buzzed. The barber's family, Ralambides, on our left side neighbors didn't want trouble, they'd come a long way to be free. Mrs. Scott, the retired, retired plumber, and his plump Midwestern wife considered moving back home where white and black got along by staying where they belonged. They had cultivated our street like the garden she'd given up on account of her ailing back. Bad knees, poor eyes, as lyric hands. She went through her litany daily. Politely, my mother listened. Ay, Mrs. Scott, que pena. Her Dominican good manners still running on automatic. The Jewish counselor next door had a practice in her house. Clients hurried up her walk. Ashamed to be seen needing, I watched from my upstairs windows, gloomy with adolescence, and guessed how they too must have been hypocritical old world parents. Mrs. Bernstein said it was time the neighborhood opened up. As the first Jew on the block, she remembered the snubbing she got a few years back from Mrs. Scott. But real estate worried her. Our house's plummeting value. She shook her head as she might. At a client's groom disclosures, too bad the world works this way. The German girl playing the piano down the street abruptly stopped in the middle of a note. I completed the tune in my head as I watched their front door open. A dark man in a suit with a girl about my age walked quickly into a car. My hand lifted but fell before I made a welcoming gesture. On her face I'd seen a look from the days before we had melted into the United States of America. It was hardness mixed with hurt. It was knowing she could never be the right kind of American. A police car followed their car down the street. Curtains fell back. Mrs. Scott swept her walk as if it had just been dirtied. Then the German piano commenced, downward scales as if tracking the plummeting real estate. One by one, I imagined the houses sinking into their lawns.